Want to know why I recently got that tattoo? There was a moment when Moses found the courage to ask God what his name was. God was gracious enough to answer. In the version of the Bible that you read, it probably says that God's name is I Am. But the name he gave is recorded in the original Hebrew, Y-H-W-H. Over time, we added an A and an E to get Y-A-H. W-E-H, presumably because we have a preference for vowels. But scholars and rabbis have noticed that the letters Y-H-W-H represents breathing sounds or aspirated consonants. When pronounced without intervening vowels, it sounds like breathing. Y-H is the inhale, W-H is the exhale. So a baby's first cry, his first breath, speaks the name of God. A deep sigh calls his name, or a groan, or a gasp that is too heavy for mere words, mentions God's name. Even atheists speak his name, unaware that their very breath is giving acknowledgement to God. Likewise, a person leaves this earth with their last breath when God's name is no longer filling their lungs. So when you can't utter anything else, your cry is calling out to God. Your cry is saying his name. Being alive means we speak his name constantly. Your very breathing is giving God praise. God chose to give himself a name that we can't help but speak every moment we're alive. All of us, always, everywhere, walking, sleeping, breathing with the name of God on our lips. Now share this cool story with someone.